Situated 25 miles northeast of Beaumont, you'll find the quiet communities of Little Cypress and Mauriceville. The focal point of this area is Little Cypress Mauriceville High School. Like any other school in Texas, the teenagers Ready? here bring a youthful vibrance and energy to the community, and none more so than the cheerleaders. On this day, they're hard at work getting ready for the state UIL competition set to take place at the Fort Worth Convention Center next January. LCM has had a good showing since the inaugural event, bringing home a third place finish on their first try. Since then, the competition has grown and become increasingly more competitive. Each year, the team has finished in the top 20 in the state. Finally, UIL is recognizing cheer, and we want that to move forward. We want to continue to be recognized and for things to progress with UIL and cheerleading. I feel like it's a little bit more difficult because you have to be precise in everything that you do. It is about your, it's about the crowd leading. It is about being sharp. It is about um, your voice projection. So we nitpick every little aspect of each routine. There's three routines that we have to do. And so it's very repetitive. It's fun to see like the schools that are around where we live and it's fun to see them and also be able to, to compete against them. It's also just a good bonding experience for the team and it's a good way to push ourselves since we do compete against such great teams. The UIL competitions are really important because we put in so much work to them uh, to practice and we bond outside of practice to make sure that we do our best and it's just rewarding to see the work that we put in pay constantly gotten in the top 20, which means a lot because we know that there are a lot of competitors and a lot of tough teams out there. And we hope that we can really just go up from there. Last year we got 14th place and we were pretty proud of that because we put in a lot of hard work. But this year we plan on working harder and hopefully Bumpy got that number. Like anything else in life, there's no shortcut to that kind of success. For these hardworking team members, that means a dedication that lasts virtually the year round. Every day we usually put in um, over an hour of work and that adds up because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and then Friday nights are games. So it takes a lot of commitment and a lot of time management, but it's all worth it in the end. You know, we have a class that they have to take, so they're working in that class as well as after school. Um, we sometimes practice 30 minutes after school, an hour, and as we get closer to UIL, um, they will be practicing, they could be practicing two hours and that's every day you know, during the week, Monday through Thursday. The games that they have to uh, go to uh, once we start basketball season, those are twice a week. We have to split up the squads. So it's a lot of commitment along with anything else that they do in school. They have to keep their grades up. Uh, they're all, most of these girls are involved in other organizations. So it's, a, it's very time consuming and it is a huge commitment from them, but they all love it and this is what they do. All of the hard work and time spent together naturally means some lifelong friendships are made and also some valuable lessons that will stay with them for a lifetime. I've learned teamwork for sure. Um, we work together in stunts, we work together on timing, tumbling, everything. You have to help one another and push each other to your best potential. What I learned from being a cheerleader is definitely being a part of a team is really important. Um, because you can't just do it by yourself. You have to take the opinions of others and you have to think about others. You can't just think about yourself. The best part of my job is seeing them succeed and seeing them come together and work hard and get along and see that all their hard work does pay off.